Hello and welcome to the Royal Brighton Yacht Club Jib Crane Induction Video. This brief video will provide you with a basic level of knowledge and instruction to safely operate our three jib cranes. Royal Brighton Yacht Club has and maintains three jib cranes. These three cranes are located on the concrete hard stand. Jib crane one, the north facing crane, has a capacity of three tonne. Jib crane two and three are east facing cranes which have a lifting capacity of 2.5 tonne. These cranes are for the use of members, staff and others that have been authorised by the club to use this facility. There is no requirement in the state of Victoria for operators to have a certificate of competency or licence to operate our jib cranes. Read the operating instructions on the front of the control box, open the box with the crane key Turn the power switch to the on position and remove the control pendant. Check the full operation of the crane is working correctly before attaching any load. This check will require the raising and lowering of the hook and also the rotation of the jib in both directions. Check that the chain and hook are not damaged and running freely through the hoist. Ensure that adequate personnel are available. A minimum of two people are required to lift a boat in the water. Ensure that a painting line is connected to the bow and stern so that you can effectively control the lift. Make sure the boat has been prepared for lifting before you position the boat under the crane. Prepare the item to be lifted. Once the boat is in place, lower the hook and attach the lifting straps as required. Each lift will be different and you will need to determine the correct method for your lift. Remember lifting straps or slings should be inspected prior to use and also undergo periodic inspections every three months by a suitably qualified person. Check to see there is no excess water in the vessel or other items that might jeopardise the weight limit. Ensure there are no loose objects on top of the boat or in and around the boat that could fall off during the lift. Observe the maximum load capacity of the crane and ensure that the load does not exceed the placarded load rating. Check your surroundings. Prior to lifting or slewing any item, make one last check to ensure that the intended path of travel you are lifting is clear and unobstructed. Ensure anyone not involved in the lift is clear of the area. Do not operate the crane in high winds, strong gusts or heavy rain conditions. Do not allow under any circumstances to lift a load over personnel or allow anyone to ride a load. Start your lift slowly. Before starting the lift, make sure you have someone holding the bow and stern painting lines to prevent the boat from rotating. Start by raising the load slowly. Ensure that your rigging is holding and that you have positioned the centre of gravity correctly. Always have the centre of gravity of the item being lifted directly below the hook. Otherwise, the boat being lifted will want to rotate as it's being lifted. Once the object is lifted, do not allow people to work or pass under the load. Lift the object as required and proceed with swimming activities in a controlled manner. Do not leave the crane controls unmanned. Do not lift vessels higher than is necessary, only enough to clear the cradle, trolley and hard stand area. Once you have raised the boat to an appropriate height, start slinging in a controlled manner, in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Try to avoid stopping the load suddenly. Slew in one controlled motion to prevent the load from swaying or jerking the crane. Continue to rotate the load until the boat is clear and parallel to the hard stand edge and over the water. Proceed to lower the boat into the water. Release the load. Tie the boat up to the cleats on the hard stand. 
Once the boat is securely moored in the water, release the hook from the slings. Always return the hook up to the hoist and rotate the boom in a parallel position to the hard stand. Return the control pendant to the lock box, turn the power off to the crane and lock the box. Retrieval Procedure Prepare your lift for retrieval. Tie the boat up under an appropriate crane. Ensure that everyone knows who is in charge. Discuss the retrieval with all involved so that everyone understands what their role is and the sequence of events. Again, familiarise yourself with the operating instructions on the front of the control box. Open the key box with the crane key, turn the power switch to the on position and remove the control pendant. Ensure that you have a painting line connected to the bow and stern so that you can control the lift. Prepare the item to be lifted. Once the boat is in place, lower the hook and attach the lifting straps. Check to see that there is no excess water in the vessel or that other items that might jeopardise the weight limit. Check your surroundings. Prior to lifting or slewing any boat, make one last check to ensure that the intended path of the boat you are lifting is clear and unobstructed. Do not allow under any circumstances to lift a load over personnel or allow anyone to ride the load. Start your lift slowly. Before starting the lift, make sure you have someone holding a bow and stern painting lines to prevent the boat from rotating. Start by raising the load slowly and that you have positioned the centre of gravity correctly. Lift the vessel high enough to clear the hard stand deck. Once you have raised the boat to an appropriate height, start slewing in a controlled manner in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Release the load. After you complete your lift, release the crane, slowly transferring the load of your object from the crane to the supporting structure or ground, such as your trolley. Remember, forces from the impact of a moving object can be much greater than the force of a dead weight alone. Slow and gentle is a good rule of thumb. Once the load is released, remove the lifting straps and the hook from the attachment points. Do not stand under or allow others to work under a load until the load has come to a complete rest on its supports, trolley or boat cradle. Clean up. Leave the cranes in a stored and secured position. This means that the hook is returned to the highest point and the jib boom is parallel to the hard stand edge. This will ensure the boom will not impede vessels coming alongside. Leave the areas clear of all items. Always place the controls back in the crane box. Turn the power off to the crane and lock the box. Always place empty or loaded cradles, trolleys and trailers back in their storage bay so that they are not in other users way. If you notice any defects of the crane, hook or assembly this must be reported to the Royal Brighton Club office immediately. Closing. That is the end of our induction video. A thanks for watching and remember if at any time you are unsure how to operate or engage in a lifting activity with our jib cranes please stop and contact the club office and a staff member will be happy to help you. Thank you and goodbye.